what's up you guys thank you for joining me for my wellness wednesday segment for this week i'm so happy that you're joining me for today uh, before i get into the subject matter for this video i'm in a really good mood and the reason why is because this week i did end up having a uh, meeting with my doctor and we went over uh, where my blood sugar and where my blood pressure is and actually everything turned out so well so well to the fact that she said that definitely as far as it's concerned with all the blood pressure medication that i was taking i'm completely in the clear and don't need to take those anymore so that's a victory for me and then she scheduled labs for me so that we can check my blood sugar with my a1c and to see where that is as well as to double check my cholesterol and if those things work out really good i am completely free of all medication medication. So I'm extremely happy and pleased to be able to say that to you guys. And um, I feel like the sky's the limit now. So it's all good. So what I want to talk about because I'm super happy, as I said, about what my meeting was for this week for my health. I'm actually going to talk a little bit about my journey and having the importance of, first of all, taking your health seriously, which is something that I've kind of played around with for quite some time. But also in addition to that, being able to have people around you that are going to support your cause because there is a difference. So as I shared before, um, I was not always a person who took the time to uh, take care of themselves. I always tried to work out, but I had no concept of, you know, it's not just working out. It's also the foods that you put in your body and all of those types of things. And back in 2010, uh, I went and had a checkup with my doctor, and that's where they told me that I was going to run the risk of having a heart attack before I was even 35. Now, believe it or not, with being told that I could have a heart attack, I actually kind of kept it a secret. Um, I didn't come out and tell a lot of people at all. I kind of downplayed what was said to me, and I really don't even know why, And because really, truly, that should have scared me, but... I just, I don't know, I just mentally wasn't there. Maybe it was a factor that I wasn't gonna be willing to accept it and thought, oh, it's no way that that would ever happen to me. But for whatever reason, I didn't really say much. And so the person that I ended up saying something to, which is an extreme blessing now that I look at the fact that this was the person that I disclosed the truth to, was actually my brother. Some of you guys know him as Mink, or as some people know him now, Canamink. I will actually never forget the time that I told him what the doctor actually said to me. I was sitting there telling him, yeah, I went to the doctor and they said this, they said that, and he's completely quiet just for a second. And then he did probably the best thing that I've ever seen anybody do for me when it came to my health. He cursed me to hell out. He cursed me out and was like, are you kidding me? You have a family, you have a life to live, you have a business, you have people that care about you. Are you kidding me? He went into all the factors of the things that we've experienced with my dad, who has had many challenges. He's had, you know, a diabetic coma before and um, actually he died twice in one day. And he was like, dude, that's not a warning to you. Are you kidding me? And he literally went off on me and I practically had to sit there and take it, which was a good thing. And then the thing that I appreciated even more about what he did was he didn't just get on me about it. He actually sat there and made himself accountable to make sure that I was going to get myself together once I said I wanted to change my lifestyle. And for those that don't know, he's into health and he's um, been a personal trainer and a nutritionist and all these different things. And so what he did was literally he came to my house and went through my refrigerator. And as he he saw the things that were inside of my refrigerator, he started explaining to me the things that I needed to look for when it came to what I should and should not be eating. And so I'll never forget, growing up the way I grew up, I grew up in the hood where you get all those nice, good, cheap, uh, delicious snacks. And one of our favorites growing up as kids were those little pies, those pies that you could get like 
three or four for a dollar. I was actually in the 99 cent store today and I saw it in there. But they were four for a dollar back in that time and uh, they, they had like the vanilla and the chocolate, the cherry, the blueberry, the apple, and they were always real good. And Lord knows I'd sit there and kill all four in one sitting while watching TV. And so as I was talking to him and he's like, dude, first of all, I can't believe you still buy these stupid pies, but let me show you something. And he showed me where it had like 20 something grams of sugar. And then it also had 20 something grams of fat as well. And he was like, dude, I know you go to 24 Hour Fitness, but this is not going to get you what you ultimately want at the end of the day. So we're going to have to rethink this. And then he threw it in the trash and almost felt like the movie's ready to go, no! But I'm glad he did that because it showed the reality of, man, if I'm sitting there having all four of those pies in one sitting, I've taken in almost 100 grams of fat, and that's not going to help me get what I ultimately want. And so I appreciate the fact that he didn't just sit there and get on my case about it. He got on my case and did something about it. And he became someone that I was able to be accountable to. And I've had my ups and downs. I've had my times when I'm super on it. And then I've had those times where I fall off and get lazy. I'm just being honest with you. I've had those times. But I appreciate having a brother that actually cares about my life that he would go off on me and then out, even though he has a busy schedule, he would take the time to put in the work to make sure that I was gonna be okay and I love him for that. So in conclusion, what I'm just trying to make sure that I can kind of convey to you on this day would just be the fact that take your health seriously. You've only got one life on this earth and it's your responsibility to take care of it. Don't do like I did for so long, neglect it and act like it's that elephant in the room. It's big enough for you to see, but it's not big enough for you to address it. Don't do like I did. Make sure you get those people in your life that are gonna help support good decision making when it comes down to it because we all have people that we care about whether they be family or friends and it's cool to go out to the restaurants do what you want to do go out and have all the drinks all those different things i get it but at the same time all of those individuals that you spend that special time with would be heartbroken if they ended up having to bury you early in life due to poor decision making so I'm just wanting to encourage you, please go out there, get fortified with the right people around you that really have knowledge of how to make it happen. I literally have people that I consider to be my support system. My brother will always be my support and I really appreciate that. But then I have a dynamic wife who gets on my case if I'm not doing it right and she'll go off. She's prepared meals for me. She's been a good support system. But then I have professional assistants. I have a nutritionist, I have a doctor that I have to stay accountable to. Believe it or not, me doing these videos with you guys is also making me accountable to you because if I fail, you're going to be able to tell and you will know and you will see. And so again, get those people around you. I'm so happy that a friend of mine, we're actually being accountable to each other. So I wanna give a shout out to my buddy Van. But that's gonna be what it takes for you to be able to stay consistent and get the help that you deserve. So thank you for joining me for my Wellness Wednesday. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe at the same time because we're all in this journey together, baby. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.